Hey everyone, this is Tim at Stammer AI, and many of you have been asking in our Discord for more specifics and a video to be created about how we reduced our support tickets by more than 58% by deploying one of our own Stammer AI agents internally in the dashboard for you guys to actually access and use. And I say more than 58% because this actually is this number, this metric here, 58% is actually including an issue we have that opened 11 different tickets. So more than likely, this is more like 80% or more. And so I want to go over the approach here because it's actually incredibly simple, but you do have to take a few steps and you need to do them in the right order. So the first thing you need to do, and I'm going to go over exactly how we do this later in this video, but first thing you want to do is point your Stammer AI agent at your documentation, right? Now this needs to be publicly faceable, uh, publicly facing web documentation. Uh, a website, basically. And then, of course, you deploy your uh, Stammer agent somewhere, right? Customers start to ask questions, and this is key. Daily, at least initially, maybe after you know a couple of weeks, you can make it every other day or even you know once a week, but you need to review those questions daily and update your documentation with the new appropriate answers. And we'll go over an example of that, and I'll actually do that for the Stammer bot in just a moment here. And now with our functionality, we rescrape the website every 24 hours, right? So the agent is retrained daily on this new knowledge. And then the next time, of course, whenever that question is asked, the question is answered better, right? And you just continue this loop. So let's get into how we actually do this here. I'm going to go into my dashboard in Stammer. And this is actually the Stammer internal support bot right here. So let me go to the conversations tab. And this is gonna be real because I haven't done this in about two days now. And we've got a question here. I'm working to customize my login page. What's the recommended size for the background page? And it says to customize your login page, we recommend this. And that is exactly right, right? So that is direct, direct from our documentation. If I wasn't sure, I, I could, you know, double check on this, but I'm pretty sure that's right. So let's go to the next one. Where can I find page? Yes, that you will find the advanced settings. Navigate to the update section of each AI chatbot. And so this is actually a good one here. So what I can do if I wanted to is I can actually add a better answer, right? Now in this case, we may come back to this one and this one could be a good example that I can use here. Oh, okay, here we go. So he says, I'm looking for the white label settings. Let's see how it answers. Okay, so it's giving a little bit too generic of an answer, right? So... The link doesn't work because it actually hallucinated the proper answer in there. <laughs> okay, so this is a perfect example. We need to add a better answer here. Now the key thing is we want it to do what's called a, we want it to match semantically, right, on the meaning. So whenever a person, you know, says, I'm looking for the white label settings, we want it to do a semantic match from the knowledge base and match. So we need to, what I'm saying is we need to say, when we put it in our data, we need to see something like, you know, how to access the white label settings, something like that. So let's go ahead and better answer here. Okay, and so actually I paused the video and then I went to our Gitbook instance, which is a documentation uh, system, and I created actually a new item in here under our FAQ area, frequently asked questions, that says, where can I find the white label settings, right? Now you'll notice here that this is not, let me go back to Stammer, so we're gonna go to my chatbots, scroll down to the internal support button, back to conversations, now you'll notice here, this is not exactly what this user asked, right? I'm looking for the white label settings. 
I could literally put that in. I'm looking for the white label settings, but it doesn't make a lot of sense for that page. And we want it to be more in the form of a question. But you notice I will, I did keep it in the form of the white label settings, right? I put those keywords in here. And that combined with the way the semantic search works means that if someone asks a similar question that means something similar in the future, this should match, okay? And then I put in here some, you know, some basic information. Basic white label settings can be accessed from the agency menu item and then go to the agency profile profile page and then I included an image in here and by the way very soon we're going to be adding the capability for the agent the chatbot to uh, display images from the uh, the documentation that it has access to so stay tuned for that but um, then I told it you know part two of the question to continue with white labeling stammer to offer it to your own customers under your own brand what you'll want to do is first deploy your custom domain and that should get this person started and then they'll see the next items which is you know connect stripe um, subscription packages, everything to set up your agency is all within that agency sub menu. So that is it. Now, now that I've updated the documentation, let's go back and discuss what's going to happen next. So I've updated the docs, right? The agent is going to be retrained tonight sometime, our own Stammer internal support bot. And then the next time someone asks this question, it will know and know how to give a better answer, right? But that is it. Another thing we're going to be adding soon, actually, very, very soon, because the devs are working on it now, is I had to come in here, right? And I, I had to know that, or I had to look and see if this question was answered properly, right? Soon, the developers right now are working on the capability for the bot to actually notify you when it doesn't know how to answer a question. And I'll go into the details in a later video uh, exactly how that works because it's actually really, really cool. But what the bot is actually going to do is, you know, the moment it doesn't know a question, it's going to do a certain, it's going to take an action that it has access to that will basically email you initially. Later on, we may add other way, ways for you to get notified, but it'll email you and say, hey, this guy with this uh, email address, if he gave the email, this user, I wasn't able to answer the question, please provide a better answer. But that is it. As always, you know, feel free to join our Discord and ask as, as many questions as you have there about any questions you may have about Stammer and white labeling AI and making AI work for, for SMBs to deliver solutions to your clients. Thank you.